All right, this is a quick training video on how to get the data from Amazon using the API software and then parsing it to uh, generate the flat file template. Um, you're going to have to turn up your volume because my microphone broke and I'm using a, a cheap, cheap microphone, so I apologize for that. All right, so uh, first thing you need to do, obviously, is go and get your parent ASIN which I put here. I just put one for testing just so you can see how it works. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to say get XML. Let me get my window back here. Um, and you'll notice that um, it got a date stamp which tells me that the software ran okay. Uh, no errors. I don't need that anymore. And so uh, put my folder back here again. And you'll see that my XML file is obviously greater than one kilobit. So I know I got a good XML file. If you want to, you can look at it in uh, something like, say, Internet Explorer, just to see that you got a good XML file. All right. And now we're going to go ahead and parse it, generate our flat file. So go ahead and navigate to your XML folder. Select your XML file. Uh, since there is no model number, obviously, within the XML file, you're going to have to type it in. So this is a G651. And I'm going to make up a price here. And some of the shoe data. Now, this is the parent description, so you don't want any variation data in there. I'm going to say OK. And this shoe has two color variations. So it has black and it has brown. Now, I don't know what the model number for the brown is, so I'm just going to go ahead and put in G652. And it says I'm done. So if I go back to my folder, You'll see that I have a flat file that you'll probably need to rename um, to, you know, something like G651 flat file. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up in Excel, and you'll see that uh, our SKUs have been auto-generated. The color variation um, models have been taken care of, so the browns are down here, the blacks are up here. All the sizing data and the description data all came from oops all came from Amazon catalog information we are not contributing any information to Amazon we're only using the data that they provided to us so that we can upload our product data back to Amazon so that is actually done and and oh and also you'll notice that we are using the ASIN numbers the variation ASINs um, instead of UPCs. So we're uploading ASIN data. We don't need the UPCs to do this. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So all you got to do now is just go ahead and upload your flat file. Uh, wait a couple of minutes for Amazon to propagate the data and our products uh, will be uh, listed on Amazon for sale. Thanks.